How much can stepping on a scale tell about you? More than you think if it's the new Withings body scan. Welcome back to Text to Nation. I'm Fred Fishkin. Joining us from Withings is Dr. Shika Anand, Chief Medical Officer at Withings, based in Paris. Thank you for taking the time with us, Dr. Anand. Thank you for having me. Well, Withings is a company that's been one of the pioneers in the field of digital health with watches, scales, blood pressure monitors, sleep sensing. Now comes the body scan announced during CES. Give us the overview here of what it is, what it can do. Yeah, absolutely. So as you know, Fred, we invented the smart scale in 2009 and have been a leader in that category ever since. Um, but this is really well beyond a scale. It's really a home health station. So it has the accuracy and the connectivity we've had in our previous scales, and it has vascular age. But in our prior scales, we've been able to give you uh, an average of your fat, muscle, bone, and water. In this scale, we actually have a handle. So there's a retractable handle, it's, it's a bar, and you pull it up from the bottom, from the scale itself. And with that, we have another set of electrodes. And that allows us to unlock three new features. So the first is that with that fat and muscle and water and bone, we're actually able to determine the relative distribution. So between each arm, and we can tell one side from the other, each leg, and the trunk, we can actually understand what your composition is in all of those areas. And this is important in a few different scenarios. In one scenario, you may have a subtle injury and you may have more muscle wasting on one side than the other. Um, and that in that you might wanna do more of a targeted workout. Um, in another scenario, you may have more fat in your trunk than you do in your arms and your legs. And that's actually really important because we know from a cardiovascular standpoint, your cardiovascular risk is associated with how much weight you have, particularly in your belly. So it's actually more clinically relevant to have more, more weight in your belly than your arms and legs. And you might want to be more aggressive about your diet and exercise routine. So that's the first feature, which is segmental body composition. The second feature is a six lead ECG. So because we have two points of contact on the feet and we have two points of contact on the hand, we can actually calculate the six axes of the heart and give you a, a reading, an electrical reading on each of those axes. So in clinical medicine, we use a 12 lead ECG. Most of what you get at home is a one lead ECG or a two lead ECG. So this is a much more complete picture of your heart's rhythm. The third feature that we have is a nerve activity score. And in our nerve activity score, what we do is we stimulate the sweat glands in your feet using a very low level, very safe electrical current. And with that, we can get a reading on how active your small nerves are in your feet. And that's really important because we see nerve damage with things like diabetes and obesity. And so we can get a really early reading on whether or not there's any nerve damage. So if I step on the scale on, on the body scan, how long am I standing there waiting for all this data and all, am I, and am I feeling anything? You, you're not feeling anything at all. Um, <laughs> I've been, I've been using it and, and you don't feel anything different, although it is really interesting. It's kind of a, a conversation, if you will, right? We're now stimulating using the scale, which is, which is really a huge leap forward. You don't feel anything. You pull the handlebars and from the time that you step on the scale, it's 60 seconds to do all three of those measurements. And the measurement will appear on the scale itself. We have a color display, and then it will also go into the Withings app if you have it connected. And you can look at, you can compare your results from today and yesterday and months and years prior. Are there more things I can do with the data once it's on the app uh, on, on my phone? Yeah, absolutely. So certainly, you know, you can look at longitudinal data. Uh, we are we're improving our app. And so you'll also see correlation between different data points. So you can see things, if you've got other uh, connected devices hooked into the app, you might see that you were more active this week and your weight last week and your weight is better this week, you know, those types of correlations. Um, and really what we want to do is help people understand the links between their behaviors and their health metrics. And so you'll see a lot of that. And then we'll also provide behavioral insights so we'll use, you know, kind of uh, studied health behavior change techniques 
to um, get people to motivate, to take action, to improve their health. And I have an option to share this information with uh, medical professionals or caregivers. Yes. So you can share it with medical professionals. You can download it as a PDF and share it with your clinical team. Uh, you can actually unlock family sharing. So we get asked this all the time. You know, if I get on the scale and my husband gets on the scale, does my, does my husband automatically see my weight? And the answer is no, your husband does not automatically see your weight. It, it's, but if you would like him to see your weight and keep you honest, you can unlock family sharing and, you know, he can get on you when you're gaining weight. <laughs> uh, depends. That's, that's a relationship specific question, but you can both have privacy if you choose it, or you can unlock sharing. And that could work for, say, an older adult who has, a, you know, a, a, a child who is a caregiver. Absolutely. Oh, wonderful. So what are the, some of the technologies here that, uh, that are being employed that enable you to gather all of this? Yeah, absolutely. So, I mean, you know, most of this actually works on electrical current, uh, you know, low level electrical current that passes through um, from the from the kind of face of the scale through your body into the handlebars. And, and what it does is actually create different loops. So we can calculate segmental body composition because we can conduct a current differentially, you know, kind of up through one leg and then through the arm and out the handlebar. Um, and so really it works on a series of electrical currents. Um, I'm not an engineer. We do have uh, obviously a series of engineers that work on this. So I'll give you a very lay, lay description on that, but, um, but it's really fascinating from a scientific perspective. And you know, a lot of us are, are taking charge or trying to take charge of our own well-being and health. I mean, the pandemic has certainly had an impact there, too, with more people at least being aware and, and doing whatever they can to stay healthier. So this fits into the picture pretty nicely and, and with your other devices as well working together. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, our goal as a company is really to give people best in class measurements, you know, in this case, measurements that you can't get anywhere else. Um, the nerve activity score, we partner exclusively with a company called Impedo Medical that makes devices for clinical settings. And we're adapting that technology for the home. And we're the only company that's doing that. Um, so really the idea is to bring these measurements into your home to shine light on them. Um, and then to think about how they all work together. So if you're wearing a scan watch, which is our smart watch, you'll have data about your sleep. And so we'll correlate your data about your sleep with data about your weight. There's great research to show that if you sleep less, you crave more and you eat more and you actually gain weight. So um, we can make those correlations for you. So when can people get their hands on one or feet on one? <laughs> yeah, and absolutely. Hands and feet. Uh, towards the end of this year is when it will be available. And how much will it cost? $299. Two ninety nine, and then you you have an option now for a subscription as well. Tell us how that will work. Yeah, that's correct. I mean, the the basic metrics and behavioral insights will be available in our app. We've our consumers have been asking us for a long time for richer content on fitness and nutrition. Obviously, that's highly correlated with the use of a scale. So there will be the availability of wellness content through a monthly subscription. Um, and that'll come out in conjunction with the scale. And then there'll also be the availability of uh, clinical professionals to manage your conditions uh, through telemedicine. So if you've already got a primary care provider and you're getting great care, great care, we don't want to disrupt that relationship in any way. But if you don't, which unfortunately many, many Americans don't, we'll actually offer you the ability to connect with a clinician through our app. And the clinician will have access to all of your measurements and use those to help you um, design the right regimen for yourself. Has pricing been set on that? Pricing has not yet been set on that. So it was just last year that the scan watch from Withings arrived in the U.S., um, and that's FDA cleared for blood oxygen levels and ECG features. The battery life there is, is 30 days uh, and really impressive innovation there. And as you mentioned, this can work together with it because the, the scale is not gonna know how long I slept or how far I walked today. That's exactly right. I mean, you know, obviously a scale is in your home and a watch, it comes with you everywhere. Or if you're like me and you're sort of obsessed with the time, it comes with you everywhere. Um, and so 
those need to work together, right? It, how you behave hour to hour obviously impacts if you weigh yourself once a week, how your weight is every week. Um, and so those correlations exist. And it also works in our ecosystem with blood pressure cuffs. We have a sleep mat as well. So when you have this really holistic picture of your data, you can really start to think about where you need to make health changes. Um, and it's not always as, as obvious as people think. You know, I mean, the big one is the correlation between disrupted sleep and, and you know, which is correlated with mental health, um, you know, things like stress and anxiety and depression um, and how that relates to activity, how that relates to eating and how that ultimately relates to weight. Terrific. Well, for more information, the website is withings.com. Again, this is coming out uh, a little bit later this year. Dr. Shika Anand, thank you so much for taking the time with us. Thank you for having me. It was a pleasure.